So you were saying about the little pieces yeah, of wood? Yeah, so, um, so uh, it was Christmas time and, and Fred and Alex who at the carpentry shop downstairs had you know, told me I could have wood and for about six months I, I just, uh, I didn't think about wood. I hadn't been using wood, but I wanted to make a present for them. So I went to find some wood and I found these little um, pieces of wood and I, I painted some gold and silver nails and some, some hammers for them. And as a present, they gave me back a whole stack of these double squares. So what I realized is that in the way that the Surrealists had made Cadavre Exqui, that I could make um, figures with movable parts and you can, mm -hmm. you can move things around, you can change their hats and you can maybe put a cat over here. And here's my friend Guillermo and he has uh, some, maybe some sheep. And here's one where She's naked, but then she has a dress, but she can have another dress or maybe another dress. And you have some other ones which are, which are um, kind of like this, where you can, you could change their arms and you can move their arms or maybe this one, the dress can be worn maybe like that way or maybe it can be worn this way and and so I started playing with them and then um, then I realized that they could be more than just the squares and these I made I, they gave me the little triangles so a friend of mine's mother uh, is Betty Catru who is um, Yves Saint Laurent's muse and she she gave me this book because there were all of these Yves Saint Laurent clothes in museums in Paris because she thought it would inspire me. So these are all like dressed Yves Saint Laurent. She's got a Mondrian dress and a, and a, tux, a smoking, the Yves Saint Laurent smoking. And uh, these over here are kind of surreal because the heads, I realized that in fact the hair could kind of grow in this kind of Marie Antoinette way, but then I made the spiders so that they were kind of like marionettes, like the spiders have the, the feel down to their heads. And um, then there are some others which are a little bit different, um, which are like this one because because I found these pieces and I realized that they could be heads. Mm -hmm. So I, I did those like that. And then, um, and, and, and this one actually isn't attached at all. It's just kind of a figure sitting there, unpainted. This one, you know, you can kind of, you can play. play and uh, I mean I like play I like I like I like making games and these of course are different because I, I saw this show of, in the Rue de Seine there was all this African sculpture up one night and it was all made out of wood and it was all so beautiful that I just came to the studio and Fred had given me all these bits of wood and so I just turned them into these 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 women these sculptures just very quickly and you can see you know they have these head pieces they have and then and then there are some other ones like these which were kind of funny because they were done during during fashion week and uh, they're like reversible here and then and then these, like, there's a whole series here. Her, and, and this one I like because you can sort of see how, it's almost like a vocabulary, because of course this wooden piece for her head then becomes kind of a roll on her back, but in a smaller one, it's like her headdress. It's kind of like her hair, and these could be her breasts. This little square is, she's sort of carrying her lunchbox or something. And, and these, of course, all of these are like the other one. 
I, I found these parts, so I thought they would be really good for heads. If I took like one or two of them, I thought they were like in the giveaway box. Fred and Alex, this is giveaway box, but it turned out that they they had made them, they were using them, but they liked what I did so much they gave all of them to me. And uh, here there are more, also kind of dressed Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, and there are other things here. Um, this is when I took these uh, these Greek, Greek and Roman uh, statues and I decided they should have spring frocks, so I just put clothes on them. These are, these are sort of uh, drawings for ideas, but it also is kind of like an artist's book. And these were drawn on um, a 19th century, pages from a 19th century encyclopedia. And over here, these little, these things I made are um, important symbols, like, you know, here is the skeleton. And then kind of for fun, I did a whole, I, I went and I got all these beautiful drawings that I liked and I sort of inserted them into the drawings. And if I were really good, I'd turn it into an animated film, but that would take like a lot of energy. <laughs> these up here, are fortune tellers uh, that I made for a show at a very obscure museum called the Museum of the Playing Card. Oh, yeah. And you did you come to that show at the yes. Museum of the Playing Card? So here's, she's the goddess of fortune, and these are fortune tellers, so... You know, it's a, a, another game. You can ask a question. Yeah, yeah. You want to ask a question? What number, Richard? You see the numbers? Yeah, four. Uh, no, there isn't a four. One, two, five, or six? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, pick another number. Three. One, two, three. Okay, now you have to ask a question. Uh, will uh, Trump be elected uh, president? Oh, that's a frightening question. All right. One, two, five, or six? Six. Oh dear, the moment of truth. Ask again later. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so this is kind of... Great. Well, maybe I'll... More or less? Or yeah, whatever you... Okay, the, these are, it's almost like a manuscript because when I'm making works, I, um, I work in series, so first they're up on the wall in the studio, and then I take them all down and I put them on that pile. So, for instance, for a while, I was really interested in making uh, drawings of, of a woman and a mirror. And then this one sort of looks like she has a, a globe or a light. But these are all about the woman in the mirror, so it's about oneself and one's reflection, but it's also that the viewer is looking at the art artwork and so the, the viewer might be reflected in the mirror too. And, and those I made by painting on wood and then, and then printing them. So that all, that all started a new way of working with the wood because um, what I realized well, the first time I realized it was I made a little, um, I went to the library. A friend of mine told me that there was a really nice room, the print room, and that I should go work in the print room. And, and I found a book uh, all about the important prints of the collection of the Museum of Modern Art. And I realized that all the great artists have made woodblock prints. So. Since I had used the wood to make sculpture and I was really into the wood, I thought, oh my God, I have this great resource. I have wood, I can make wood block prints. So I started and I made this head and I, and I printed it onto this black paper that I had painted. And what you'll see is that actually these are all, they're in series and they're all different. But what's interesting about them is that they all have the wood grain. So, um, and this is, this is pretty representative of the way that I like to work in series. That's why when you see my work stacked up, it all looks, you know, they look like manuscripts, in fact. But 
if you come, the studio is like a garden and it's always changing. So, so one day you might come and this would be up on a wall and I'd be looking at it, but then, then I take it down because then there's something else going on. So I made these, those were the first ones made with the wood block and really enjoying what the grain of the wood, uh, what it's like to have the grain of the wood appear because you don't know what it is. It's always, you know, you don't know what it's gonna look like and then, and then, and then you do it and it's interesting. So, and then these, these are fairly recent and it's because I have a very dear friend who's an ancient Greek scholar and she had been working on a subject for 20 years and she finally finished her book on this question of the self, the self and um, I suppose maybe the I and in, in ancient Greek, although this is just a very simple explanation of her work. And she had had um, a work of mine of the three graces that she'd been looking at for about 30 years and I thought, oh my God, it's like giving somebody one poem and she needed something new. So I, so I made these Athenas, thinking of her, and here you see Athena and you see she has the owl. And, and from these, um, I made, I made uh, woodblock prints. I made monotype woodblock prints. And they're, they're all different, but it's quite interesting printing them on the black paper. And one of the reasons why they're in this blue color was because I had been thinking about the mirror and the reflection in the mirror. And so um, something really incredible happened with the, the mirror and the blue and the black and, and they're all different and they're, they're all Athena. They're sort of all Athena and her reflection, right? If you look at the woodblock print along with this. So 